this was last week's park up and there was a beautiful river nearby the Waikato River in Taupo which is really really gorgeous um, the water is just so clear it's hard to believe it's the same river that you see in Hamilton and here's Lake Taupo before I headed off to Rotorua so that is absolutely stunning and gorgeous I love that lake with the mountains in the background Okay, it's maintenance day and I've just put my overalls on to grease the truck and they are disgusting. I really, really need to buy some new ones. <laughs> but anyway, they'll do the job. So time to throw myself underneath the old girl and um, get this thing greased. So yeah, I've just greased the truck and sprayed some fishaline on any areas that might have surface rust. I didn't actually see any, but I had some fishaline to use up anyway. Yeah, gave everything a wipe down, wiped any oil off engines and things. I'll bed for the engines to weep a bit. And there's all my spray cans and fishaline cans and the empty grease cartridge and really greasy rags which are all ready to go to the skip but yeah so this is the super handy way they designed access to bedfords which is actually pretty tricky when i had that engine rebuilt the poor guys had to work in here mind you they took the guards off and made it a bit easier and as you can see i haven't cleaned this part of the engine yet but that is a constant even straight after it was rebuilt with a <laughs> plain head and a new head gasket it weeps out the left hand side it always has it's actually not a lot because I use about half a litre of oil between oil changes so that is not a whole lot um, but yeah it looks like a lot so yeah that's my Bedford 330 motor air filter all the bits and bobs that's an injector pump that I've had Quite a few hassles with but I'm getting there so yeah that's been today's missions get everything sorted out and see how it's all nice and black and shiny there that's what the fishaline does so if I find any traces of surface rust I spray it with fish oil and that stops rust from making itself at home so yeah that's been today's mission so far and yeah I think I'm gonna clean up now so I've done that I've still got to adjust the brakes but I'll do that a bit later but I'm absolutely disgusting I've got fish oil and grease and look at my fingernails <laughs> that's why I like to do it fairly early in the week so at least I've got a chance to get clean hands by the weekend when I'm working and people can see my hands a lot so I'm gonna adjust the brakes and then have a shower <laughs> yeah it's all fun and games but I have to do this it looks after the truck and it's also nearly COF time again that's a certificate of fitness and I like to make sure everything is as good as I can check it over before I go and queue up and do that so hopefully fingers crossed this time there's nothing really wrong with it um, but I do like to have a good look underneath regularly anyway, make sure everything's okay and nothing's kind of loose and things like that. So, yeah, it's a general maintenance day. I also um, had to kick a spider out of her home she'd made under there because she was kind of trying to take over the t um, space in behind the headlights, so she had to leave. I was getting a bit out of control. So, fun and games. I don't mind doing shit like this. It's okay. It's um, something different to sitting in front of a computer and working. And I have this great belief that women can do these things, you know. Some stuff is just too heavy for me. Um, like I couldn't put a gearbox on myself because I know it's just too heavy for me to lift. Um, and some things I just don't know how to do. But what I can do, I will do. Okay. Okay.